On Ice Age, effects pretty much cover everything that you see moving that is not a main character. In traditional special effects, you're trying to create something that looks real. In Ice Age, we're dealing with a cartoon world. The idea that gravity only takes effect a few seconds after you fall off the cliff. A cloud of dust doesn't just woof out, it goes whoop. And because of that, the process that we went through to develop the effects was to take a basic physical model and have it emote the feeling of the shot rather than just what it would really look like in real life. In order to get this effect of this huge glacier crashing down on this poor little scrat, we took a whole bunch of different little elements, combined them together into one big scary mush. We had to take the bow wave of the glacier moving through the snow. We took the dust. We took the chunks of rock falling all around. In order to do that, we do it in, in a series of layers, a series of passes that allows us to isolate each element and deal with it on its own so that we're not dealing with the weight of the entire system.